Hello everyone, it's Mr. Good again with another video, and today I was going to upload a rant video that I've work been working on for the past three days. Uh, it's, you know, I, I thought I had a good video going, and then I watched Chain Gear Gaming's most recent video um, about, you know, how nothing's hard, everything's just challenging. And, you know, it really got me thinking. He said something in there, and I'm not going to spoil anything. But he said something in there that really, uh, really pertains to this, and uh, you know, I, I figured, why am I waking, making a rant video when it's not me? You know, rant videos aren't <coughs> aren't um, aren't my strong suit. I've never done them before. Um, you know, it's just I don't have enough subscribers either to to uh, actually do a rant video. People would. Uh, People would probably uh, make fun of me down in the comments, and you know I really don't care what people think. Um, but really, it's just uh, it's just not me. So instead, today, guys, I just decided to sit down and just kind of go through the ten or so points that I have against Call of Duty uh, Infinite Warfare, and uh, not really just rant about how bad it is, just talk. So the first one is inconsistency. So first off, the shots it takes to kill someone is uh, is very inconsistent with everything. Uh, sometimes I find myself shooting, shooting someone in the same spot, uh, same distance, and it takes about two shots to kill them. Another time, it doesn't kill them at all, and I've shot them about five. So that's my first point. It's it's just ridiculous that uh, I don't know if it's just a beta issue or if that's actually how it's going to be. But, you know, it's it's not cool. It's not cool at all. The second one is the guns are just terrible. I mean, this gun right here, it's actually a really good gun. It splits into two pistols, and uh, it's pretty good. But the other guns, I could not find a single one that I liked. Um, I know they're bringing back classics uh, under the classic section. Um, but, you know, they're supposed to look a lot more realistic since it's, like, in the far, far future. It's supposed to be in like 22 something, I think. I don't know what the actual time setting is for it because I just really haven't cared. But they're supposed to. They, they all look fancy. They all look really cool, really fancy, but they're just not set in the time period that they're supposed to be set in. Um, and that's that's just. Uh, that's kind of my thing on the, the guns. They're just. They're just. They don't, they're out of place. There you go. They're out of place. That's what it is. But number three is that this is like really close quarter shooting right here. It's like, it's actually kind of ridiculous how close this is. There's one map that uh, is literally consists of hallways. You know, in Treyarch maps, you've got Knockout. You've got really, really open spaces in the map Knockout. Also in the map Breach, you've got that huge space in the middle where you can shoot to the other side. And also on the left and the right, you can do the same thing with the wall runs. So yeah, basically Infinite Warfare is just terrible at designing their maps. All that brings me up to my fourth point. Uh, this game is just way too fast-paced. Um, it's This is a game really for people with good hand-eye coordination. And I do have that, luckily. But uh, it's just it's just not me. <laughs> Again, it's just uh, I, like, uh, I like my games to be a little slower paced so I can just relax and chill and you know, not have to work as hard. And so my fifth point is the worst goddamn point of all <laughs> the flippin spawns man these spawns are just terrible why can't either of these two companies get the spawns right so basically this game spawns people in the worst spots possible it, it couldn't be more worse I will spawn in move about two steps and get instantly killed it's, it's, th it's literally that two steps and I'm instantly killed. I'm dead serious. It's, it's ridiculous. So, Infinity Ward, Treyarch, fix your spawns. It's not okay. Just make... They need to have a spawn system, right? Where people can spawn the furthest away from any enemy possible. Is, uh, is that the what the spawning is right now? I, I don't think it is. I think it's you spawn at one side of the map or the other side of the map. You know, it's it's they need to have it so that you spawn where there 
is the furthest away from anybody else. So in one in one second it might be, you know, on one side of the map. In another second, you know, literally the next person that spawns will be on the other side of the map and then the other side of the map and then you know, so it's still spaced out evenly and you know. You know what I mean? You yeah, know what I mean? Alright, I'm I'm just gonna stop saying saying stuff about that. So also they tried to make up for ghosts and advanced warfare with color. Alright, you might think this is kind of a weird one, but anybody remember back in Ghosts? There was no color whatsoever. No color at all. And you know how in uh, Advanced Warfare it was a complete waste of time? <laughs> Honestly, I hated Advanced Warfare. Um, it, it was just... The boost, the thrust jump, I'm sorry, was just absolutely terrible. Uh, I think they tried to make up <laughs> for those in this game by adding a bit of color and switching to the boost jump instead of the thrust jump. So, they tried, <laughs> okay? I can only give them that. They tried to make up for color, but still, this game is just kind of bland in color. I mean, you've got some reds there, you've got, got some snow, I mean, <laughs> that's pretty much how they always make uh, new maps. Uh, just put snow in some old maps and there you go. Um, no, I'm, I'm kidding, <laughs> I'm kidding. If you guys actually think that's how uh, how maps are made, it's not. But I mean, just look at it. There's white, gray, and red. I, I don't see anything else in in the map. I you know the the HUD shows some blue, but I mean, still, that's like hardly anything. You got some yellow there, but they tried. All right, they could have added a bit more color in there. <laughs> Just take a look at Splash, alright? Splash and Treyarch just is so colorful, so vibrant. But they tried, alright? I'll give them that. My sixth point is that the boost jump is so bad. So you'll literally boost jump, right? You'll use it all up. You'll boost jump. And it'll take a good five seconds for that thing to recharge after it started, alright? It takes so freaking long for this boost jump to charge. This is not even worth using it at this point. And it, when you use it, it goes down so fast. I mean, it's like Infinity Ward. What are you doing? This is trash. Make they need to re significantly reduce the time on the the boost jumps uh, and how long they charge. They significantly need to reduce that time. And uh, in in Black Ops Three. You know, it's two seconds to recharge without um, afterburner. When you have afterburner, it takes one second to recharge. That's it. So you know, it's just if any word. Come on. Um, number seven is uh, they've ripped off Treyarch a lot in this game. Um, so specialists, they've ripped them off. They now, except for the fact that they added three um, specialist. Uh, Things that they can do instead of two, like uh, like Treyarch did. But honestly, I personally don't care for uh, for specialists in the first place. I th I would rather be able to just like completely design my character myself <laughs> instead of what they're doing. And uh, like just like they did back in the old days of Modern Warfare. Oh wait, what's that? Mm-hmm. Okay, I'll tell them. Alright, so apparently they're remastering Modern Warfare. Uh, so I, I don't know, uh, you know, anything about that. Uh, I don't think they added it in the uh, in the original trailer or anything. Um, and that it would be in the Legacy Edition of Modern Warfare. But, you know, it's just sometimes, you know, they don't tell us stuff. And Yeah, they're remastering Modern Warfare just because infinite warfare is gonna suck I'm, I'm pretty sure that's the only reason that they're remastering modern warfare it's just because infinite warfare is gonna be complete trash guys this is this yeah and they're and they're making it come with the legacy edition of infinite warfare so you can't get it without the legacy edition of infinite warfare which is just what why and then it obviously begs the question why because Infinite Warfare, again, is going to suck. It's going to be complete trash and nobody's going to want to buy it. They're going to end up just like buying it off of eBay or Amazon from some other seller. That's what is eventually going to happen. So, <sighs> yep. 
and there's not going to be many of them. <laughs> there will, eh, there probably will be a few, but you know. Also, my next point is that the servers are so bad. <laughs> I couldn't, I couldn't go through this list without saying this one. The servers of the beta were just terrible. It better not transfer over into the actual game itself, the release of the game. If it, if it does, it's just Infinity War just has seriously messed up. They have no idea what they're doing at all. <laughs> the servers are terrible. You know what? I told you guys right now. All right, and the ninth, well, eight. Blah, blah, blah. The tenth point is that um, they need to stop going into the future. It's obviously not what people want at all. Nobody wants any futuristic Call of Duty right now. They want further back Call of Duties, you know, uh, World at War, or, you know, they want all those. World at War, World War Two, World War One kind of stuff. And you know what? Battlefield has given it to us, but it's not right in my opinion. I, I, I don't quite care for, uh, for the Battlefield version and what they've gone with. On uh, on the black or the <laughs> keep saying black eyes, god dang it, the um, World War One kind of vibe that they went with. So I mean it's okay, and I'm probably gonna get uh, Battlefield One a couple months after it comes out after they've lowered the price of it because I don't think it's worth sixty dollars. <laughs> so anyways, uh, guys, that's pretty much sums it up. Um, Infinite Warfare is just a piece of crap. The beta was a mess. <laughs> and it needs to be thrown away, deleted, destroyed, and stabbed multiple times. That beta was just a disaster for Infinity Ward. But anyways, I hope you all did enjoy this video. Please leave a like, a comment down below in the description. And subscribe if you haven't already. And you know what? I will see you guys next time. Thank you and goodbye.